Wednesday. Here we are, we're out again, me and my mop. <laughs> Still got out. Hey. <laughs> so we're, we're out at Anstruther, a red pier. Hey, it's about an hour and a half till low tide and it's looking quite weedy. And there's quite a few creels out in the water as well, I noticed. So shouldn't, I'll not be needing to cast too far out anyway, so hopefully we'll get something. Uh, today there's a bit of a wind blowing for the back there. It's meant to swing right round later on this afternoon and come from the other direction, so we'll see what happens. I hope, I hope you can hear this. It's actually coming this way. Uh, right, so uh, what we're going for today, we're looking for cod, we're looking for wrasse, uh, possibly pollock. Uh, You'll get coal fish, you'll get other small fry as well. Uh, over at White Pier, uh, I normally get quite a few flounders over there because it's sandy over that side. It's all rocks and weed down here. Uh, I've done, done not too bad before uh, when I fished here, so let's see how things go. Uh, I've actually got my Abu Severns this time uh, instead of the. Uh, uh, SKSs, um, uh, they're shorter, which means I can keep it closer to the, closer into the wall, which is what I need around here. I don't need it out. I need to, I need to try and keep it in. So I'd, I'd rather have them. Uh, and they're solid roads as well. So if I can. So we've got a uh, one, one hook up is uh, two hook partners. They're one o hooks. Primarily for wrasse eh, and any other small creatures. Other one, we've got a pulley rig, a 3 0 hook eh, for anything. It's decent, it wants to bite. I'm game for that. So, I've also got a Abu Red Devil eh, spinning rod, a 9 foot spinning rod. I'm going to try and put a float on that. Uh, I'll have to see what this wind does. If a float doesn't work, I've got a couple of these spinners, I might just throw them and see if there's any mackerel kicking about. There's certainly getting mackerel just down the coast a wee bit, so I don't see why not. Uh, Bait-wise... We have our friend, the mackerel. We've got our friend, the bluey. Oh, look at that! Sandil. I don't have too many of them. I've put in an order to get a whole load more because I'm going, uh, hopefully, going over to the west coast the next couple, uh, next couple of weeks. So I need these. I need a lot of them. Uh, I was going to, I'm going to put them on the floor and see if we can catch Pollock or wandering about. Hopefully. And we've got a nice, nice big looking longworm. Paradise. And we have some lovely rockworm. If there's anything that would take our brass, these will. Well, they always have done in the past, so. We'll see what they do. I should have brought a hat or a bandana or something after you. I don't go spray lock day or something, I can keep my hair good. <laughs> God, this is going to be fun. So that's our base. Uh, as I say, it's an hour and a half till low tide. Uh, I'll give you a look around in a little while. It's fairly weedy around here and rocky. There's times when you can fish here and you You'll do fine another time so you fish here and you just continually lose stuff. That's when I just have had enough. I'm away for here. <laughs> Look for a flat beach. <laughs> so that's us. Well, it's meant it's meant to be a wee bit of wind, but uh, no this. And it's meant to be cloudy. Uh, maybe a bit of rain later on. But it's not warm. It's not meant to get warm either. That's why I've got that's why I've got this on July. I, sh I should be fishing in my t-shirt in this weather, especially now. Uh, 
Oh, not to worry. I think there's uh, another couple of guys coming down here from what I've seen on uh, Facebook and that. And I've got a guy, a mate, fishing up. Fishing up in Krail. So we'll see how he goes on and gets on today as well. So let's shut up and get on with some fishing. Okay, right. We're all baited up and we're ready to go. I, I'm not expecting to catch Ross this early in the tide. Uh, it's normally once the tide's coming in, about maybe an hour and a half, two hours after low tide, to start getting the ras. So we'll see how it goes. At, the, at this state of the tide, I'm expecting the cod. Yeah, we should get a few codlin kicking about. Hopefully. So we'll get in the water and get some fishies. Right, so that's us in the water. I'll just stay, I'll sit down, have a coffee and admire the beauty. It's been admired, that's it. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get on with the fishing. Right, I'll give you a look round. I, as you can see, I'm fishing right against the edge of the wall, the sea wall there. Because uh, I like to get down in that ba that bottom corner down there. I see we get a few fish in there, so yeah. And as you can probably see, there's a lot of weed down there. There's a lot of creels as well. And got a island over there. there. Be able to hear me with uh, when I turn it round because the wind's coming right at me. Other side of the fourth. Edinburgh and such like are all over there. The bridges are way, way up the river there. Can't see them from here. But, uh, and this here, all the rocks and the weed and everything is. My ancestor has a reputation for being good for cod in the winter. It also has a reputation for being a gear hungry place as well. Oh, this is. Stop us moving up and down. But this is called the Red Pier because that's a red lighthouse. Across the other side, the White Pier because White Lighthouse. Hey, I've seen a few flinters getting caught off there just fishing off that White Lighthouse and into the actual harbour itself. Oh, There's fish over there. There's a 
boat tied up against the Anstruther Museum over there, a fishery museum. That's a that's a place where they can deal with your muscles and take stress out of your bones. Oh yeah, just what I need. I'm stressed out to, to bits. Of you. And there you go. This Anstruther goes over the back there. I leads into cellar dike, uh, cellar dike, crail, bit of weems around here as well. That's the long path I come down to get get over here. Not there. If you want to park up here, it's pretty good. There's a car park up there. Normally you have to pay, but they, they've got covers on the machine, so free parking at the moment. Uh, but normally during the summer, <laughs> it's kind of horrendous to park around here. It's horrendous to drive around here, actually. And a lot of, uh, and during the summer, a lot of the wee villages all have little fates and whatnot. And there's one or two that actually just close the whole village down. You've got to drive into it, you can't go into it, you have to walk. Because they have various functions and that. That's good! Oh, look at that, the road. I missed it. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically where we're fishing. Uh, If I stop fishing for a couple of minutes, I'll maybe give you a look over the back of that sea wall up there. If the ladders are still there. Yeah. The ladders are still there, so I'll maybe give, go up that high wall and give you a look over the back of that. That's that's high, that's steep. It's good for fishing in the winter, the wall. Just getting fish up. So, there we go. Right, I said I'd let you see what it's like on the other side of that wall. The wall at the side of the path. This is the other side of it. Here, 
Get them in there. <laughs> well, first fish of the day. Lovely cod. That was in the rag we're meant for uh, Ross. Nice one. At least there's a catch. Taking its time and getting here. But that's what I come for. <coughs> nice little ballad. Yes, at last. There we go, another little ras. Right nice size. Yeah. And that's what I was thinking. Hey. So it wasn't very far. There we go. We have ourselves. Eh. 
have ourselves another little barman. Doing well. Right, that's about uh, what, two minutes after high tide. And it's not been a great day. Got one cod, one cod. Nice size. <laughs> uh, three ras and uh, one cold fish. And I dropped a ras earlier on. There's a guy come come along to see me to pick up a, a rod off me. And while he was picking that up, it was a bite. I went and got the bite. I went and lifted it. I lost, seen the fish drop off. So, uh, would have been four, but uh, alas. But, uh, it's calmed down a bit. But it's still no warm. It's still no hot. So, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I think I'll probably hang about for another hour, two hours, see what happens, the tide, uh, tide gone down, because uh, I have to go home, I'm, I'll have to get something to eat. I'm still hungry for this one, I never got anything at the shops. <laughs> uh, I've, oh, I should have brought my cooker, I could have cooked that good. <laughs> uh, right, so, um, we've had some shower of rain. Uh, I've no long actually taken the top the uh, waterproof off. As soon as I took that off, it got cold. You see, at the back of me, it's all blue sky, but the sun's over there. Over that way, it's all cloudy, so... Maybe in an hour's time, once that cloud moves, I'll get a bit of sunshine. Hey! No hope of a tan light, but uh, there you go. So... As I say, I'll continue for another hour, couple of hours, and see what happens. I've got a guy beside me has been catching a few cold fish. Another couple of guys at the far end of the pier. We're trying for mackerel earlier on. I think they've changed the bait now. So... But, uh, it's been quiet around here. I was uh, expecting two or three other anglers, but no. So, OK, let's get back to it. There we go. I'm glad I stayed. There's another ras. <laughs> Number four. Here we go, another little cold fish. But that wasn't what took me into the rocks, into the weed. I'll tell you that for now. <laughs> this isn't going to see tomorrow, is it? <laughs> there we go. Another ras. It's about number five. They're all about the same size. 
Only for some about three and a half pounds. Can you pay for best? Right, that's uh, two hours after high tide. We'll call it a day at that. Hey, had one cod, five ras, three cold fish. So not too bad. At least we caught fish. It's calmed down eventually. The sky is blue. It's getting a wee bit warmer. But the tide's going out and the fish have stopped biting. <laughs> so there we go. I've had a couple of guys coming down then. Oh, you're, you're having that does videos? Yeah. Great to be famous, eh? Oh. And thank you for all the subscribers, everybody that subscribes. I don't ask people to, I just, if they like the videos, they will. So, thank you, thank you all anyway. And, I don't know where my next video will be. Fishing will be, uh, Possibility it'll be locative uh, going on the, going over there uh, end of the week. Spend two or three days fishing, so we'll have a go at that. But uh, until next time, from Anstruther, tight lines. Right, I've got a square full in my head, that's lovely. I've got something set up wrong on this. So you'll probably get a good view of my head if you see nothing else. Right, so here we are, we're out once again, and this time we've went up country, we're in Stonehaven, or Stone Air, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's meant to be a pretty calm day, calm winds anyway, but uh, may get a bit of rain later on, but uh, I can live with that. I've lived with thunderstorms, I could live with a bit of rain. Right, so here we are. I thought we'd catch here. Well, if what the guys have been catching lately, when I go by, not a lot. But I'm hoping there should be dabs, uh, probably wee codling, probably coal fish, uh, maybe get a flounder, uh, eels. There was a, a decent enough eel caught, caught just in the harbour a couple of days back. So you never know, and uh, I don't know about sea trout, but uh, you never know. So what are, we, what are we using for bait? Well, the normal run of the mill mackerel. Don't you just love this stuff? Oh, it's not the stuff I caught a couple of days back. <laughs> Here we go. We got bluey. We got lugworms and. Don't look or smell healthy. And we've got my friends, which do look and smell healthy. Big beasts. Bit of a waste on a two a one oh hoot look, but uh, at least they're alive. That means I'll not catch fish with the friggin' things. Eh? I'll not catch bass anyway because they're not dead. So <laughs> So there we go. It's, uh, it's just after 12. Low tide is uh, 10 past 4, so I've still got about 4 hours till low tide. I'm a bit earlier than what I normally am, but oh, a nice day, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So low tide's about 4 o'clock, high tide is uh, 25 to 11. Uh, we'll see if I'm still here at that time. See how dark it gets. Uh, there's not much in the way of lights around here, and I don't have I don't have my lights with me because uh, it's not winter. So that's us. I'll give you a look around later on. Uh, the moment we'll get baited up. I'm using the Sonics. 
I've got the Abu 65 CT mags. Uh, no, 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 no. CT rockets actually. CT mags. I'm thinking about mags. Somebody was talking about five a uh, pen five three five mags and not carry on. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, the uh, CT rockets. Uh, I've got another rod. A uh, the Abu Esprit. I've got a big fixed spool reel on that. I've tried a short cast with this. It feels awful. Me using the motor players the other day. That fixed spool just feels too heavy. But uh, it's all I have because I've destroyed my other motor player. So I run the guts out of it. So we've got that for the mackerel. Uh, there's been a few people up trying to catch them, but they're not not around. Uh, but. I've been known to catch them at this time of year, so you never know. So let's get down to it. We won't catch fish standing talking here. Yeah. Right, that's us baited up, so we'll get cast out. I don't know how much of this you'll actually see, because... Uh, it's a bit, just a bit awkward, because there's no room to manoeuvre in uh, this tripod. It just fits on here and no more. If this gets blown over, it'll put that card in there. Right, let's get down Left into the rocks and over to the right, and you're doing something. There's nothing else you got. Hey, sea scorpions, there's plenty of them around here, short and long. Right, so that's us casting the what I'll hate to do something about that square, it's annoying. <laughs> it must be face recognition or something. Hey, so <coughs> that's us in the water anyway. Hey, got one, one piece of each bait on each hook, so we'll see what happens and work it from there. Right, I think it's about time I gave you a look round. Uh, now that it's stopped raining, it's just been meant to be sharp, short showers, but these are not sharp, short, these are long showers and they're wet. So, basically, here we are, we're in the corner on the wall at uh, Stonehaven, uh, just by the harbour. Look out, oh, it's black over there. That's what we're getting. It's meant to be a, a, a kind of fine day, but not a hope. At least there's no much, there's very little wind, but it's a rain. Well, there is a bit of wind actually, but it's meant to change direction later on, so we'll see what happens. And the, the rocky bits. But, I don't know what you'd catch over there if you uh, went light fishing, lightweight fishing. You, could, you might be amused at what you could catch in amongst the rocks. 
I reckon you should get Ross and that in there, right? But uh, you never know. There's the steps up to the up to the walkway. Oh, I have to come round this side. <laughs> is it and I've just stood on it. That doesn't help matters. Oh, is that on the lanes it is? Water in the lanes doesn't help at all. Right, there we go. There's a wee bit of a beach up there. A couple of guys with canoes. I think they've just come out of the water. Uh, I think that's a little boating club over there. And we go over right, right across the harbour there. There's uh, little pubs and hotels, I think it is. And houses, basically. There's a harbour behind that wall. Get into it by going through that way and turning, turning left. Here in the harbour, the inner harbour. Now you've got that inner harbour as well, but that's open. And then you have this outer harbour. It's like three different harbours here. For the size of the place, I'm amazed. But uh, years gone by, I take it, it would have been a, a big, big place for fishing, like most of the places on the east coast here. And there we go. Uh, Main street up there. There's a wee ice cream shop just beside that uh, white building there. And there, there were people sitting out there earlier this morning. They're not sitting there now, it's raining. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> we do a lot of uh, practice practice and stuff for uh, getting off the rigs, uh, boats etc so that's why they've got launches in here and we've actually got them <coughs> police and uh, Navy divers are here just now they've been practicing some manoeuvres uh, over there we have uh, the beach looks like a nice sandy beach I'm trying to look at this through a screen full of water. Lovely. What scared all them off? <laughs> Something's moving the seagulls anyway. Something's frightening them. That stone even goes right round there, I think. I was talking to somebody else and they called that area something else, but uh, I don't know. Some nice cliffs over there. I don't know if you can get down them to actually fight like, but some nice cliffs over there. <laughs> yeah, there's a good chance you'll get down them. Getting back up might be another matter. And we rock out out there. Yeah. Oh, another another little thing just to, to take your mind off the fishing. Put your mind on the rubbish. There's a bin there for it. Just by by that building at the back there, that's toilets. I think they're shot. But uh, there's a bin there you could use that to dump all your rubbish in so there shouldn't be any rubbish lying about. And I'm, I'm happy to see there isn't any rubbish lying about, so that's something good. And for car parking, well, just below, below where we fish off. <coughs> Seems safe enough, but eh. Uh, that depends on the guys that are fishing up here, whether they drop lead weights through your car windows or whatever. <laughs> Try 
trust. It's all about trust. You can. There's car parks of a. Uh, just at the back there. That's the toilets on your right. Just round the back there is the free car park for people. And there's a. I think there's a wee cafe restaurant thing around there as well. You've got the quayside there, but. I I don't know if you're allowed to park on that, I think that's mainly yeah. for the guys that are on the boats. But, uh, yeah. So that's Stonehaven on a nearly pleasant day. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, it's just black. Oh, what a wonderful day. I wonder if we've got thunderstorm. Well, if, it hits, if the lightning hits the roads, I want to make sure I get on top me. Things are bad when you can when you catch a catch catch when you catch a crab and you kinda keep it on. Well, I said you were practically guaranteed a scorpion fish up here. There you go. There's a nice little one. Long spined. That's only taking three hours to catch it. <laughs> the only fish I've had. I left these guys at Riverside. Seems are everywhere nowadays. <laughs> Just looking for interesting things to kill time because there's no fish. No more fishing boat. If we can get that in the screen, it'll be happy. It'll be happy. There we go. Wonder if he's loaded up with crabs and lobsters and whatnot. More than I'm loaded up. Loaded up with bait that's doing nothing. Such fun as fishing. Right, that's uh, that's low tide now. Uh, I'm afraid to say I've only had the one fish, that long spine, long spine sea scorpion, and that's been it. A crab, but that got off. <laughs> Other than that, there's nothing happened. I've even tried the tra the feathers, the mackerel trace, but nothing on that either. And I think the water's too low for mackerel just now. Anyway, if they were here. Uh, from what I've heard, there's nobody caught anything from up here. So, oops. Uh, so we'll just have to continue. I tend to stay to about high tide anyway, so... Pardon me. So, hopefully with the tide turning, it'll bring the fish in. <laughs> I love these tails. You see angler tails. Oh, the fish will come in with the tide. Oh, lovely! Show me a fishy. Okay, let's let's get back to the fish before I lose it all together. Right, that's me. I've had enough here. This about six hours of absolutely literally nothing. 
Hey. Apart from that scorpion fish and a must crab. But apart from that it's been dire. So we'll give up here and head off somewhere else. God knows where. Somewhere with a fish I hope. But uh, we'll give it a bye. Come back another day. Because the fish are bound to he'd come here eventually. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be there when they do. So until next time, tight lines. Right, here we are. Uh, I'm not dressed for fishing. Uh, I'm not actually meant to be fishing, I'm actually at my work. Uh, I do night shift, at, uh, most of you will know, uh, I actually work on the RRS Discovery Ship and Museum uh, security night watch sort of thing. Uh, long 15 hour shifts each, four on the trot. And I am totally bored at my head doing these shifts because there's nothing happening with this lockdown. So tonight I decided I'll bring a, I'll bring one of my rods down and the, some bait that I had left from uh, a session I had a couple of days ago up at uh, Stonehaven which went bleh, downhill badly. Uh, one fish. <laughs> oh well. So I've come down here. Uh, we're basically fishing the Tay, basically beside, we're on Riverside Drive but off it if you get, it's a, Riverside Drive comes down and then there's a big fence and then you can't go any further than uh, that fence. So I'm in here on my own, I actually see a guy just setting up, uh, just up the river a bit. Uh, it's about an hour to, uh, hour and a half to low tide, half past seven I think low tide. Uh, so. Hopefully we'll catch a few flounders, a few flatties, place dabs, I, I don't know. But, uh, but I've seen reports there's a lot of small stuff getting caught just now. A guy uh, put up earlier today caught, caught a flounder to that size. Not bad going. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I've got the camera in the car, I've got the car in the, on the key side. I'm hoping we don't need the emergency services because they need to get right down here. And I'll hate to get this car out of the road as soon as. So we've just got the one rod uh, flies, bugs. <laughs> the Sonic, the 14 footer, and uh, the Abu 6000 CT uh, reel. Uh, two hook, 10 pattern muster, uh, bait. Well, it's, it's just basically fish baits. Sorry, I keep disappearing. I can't get this camera any higher inside the car and I don't want to put it out. It's... The seagull's shitting all over the place here. Uh, yeah, uh, basically it's a bait for a couple of days ago, so there's mackerel and bluey and that is it. Uh, I don't have anything else, so it's just basically fish baits and Lord knows, Lord knows what, my, what I might catch, so... Hopefully a wee trout, but uh, I always want to catch a trout, but it's quite, it's a few been caught, and noisy sods. Next door to me is a V&A, they've got two ponds of water, uh, fresh water, the seagulls gather in that like nothing else, they've, they've had uh, plastic eagles, they've had flying eagles and even bangers to try and scare them off, but they're, <laughs> they're still here. And when McDonald's just opening up, uh, the seagulls aren't used to it, they're still sitting down here yet. So, <laughs> the place gets covered in bird crap all over the place. That's on the screen. So, uh, yeah, so we'll get get baited up and get thrown in. 
I'll give you a, a view around, but being be locked in here, there's not actually a lot to see. But I'll give you a look around anyway, and we'll, we'll see if we can pick out that guy up the river there. Got good zoom on this, I'll find out who he is. <laughs> I wonder if anglers worry, there's a pool of fish in about here, he's got that zoom, I didn't want him. Didn't want to be on his fault. <laughs> Bad luck, mate. That's us baited up. Uh, we'll get cast in the water. I can't really do a big cast because around me I've got benches and benches and tables and that, so I have to watch how I'm casting, so I won't be able to get too far out. But I'll get far enough out to catch some fish. Mm, some ladies on bicycles. Must be time for a cycle room. Hey, I'm gonna get a bike. Everybody in the world's getting a bicycle, is that me? Well, we'll see how things go. As far as I'm aware, uh, in line with the V&A out of the way, about 80 to 90 yards, there's meant to be a deep trench running down the way. Uh, I've never fished into that. I don't think I can cast, cast good enough to get out there. But uh, I know it's there anyway, so there's maybe fish, big fish in there hiding. Come out when it's time to feed. In about an hour and a half, when the tide turns. So that's us. Uh, I've got coffee sitting there, so I'll have a have a cup of coffee, decent cup of coffee this time, not without a flask. Uh, and it's bright, it's sunny, but it has getting dark clouds and whatnot. Uh, it's meant to rain later on. Meant, the weather's meant to be pathetic for the next couple of days, actually. But uh, we'll see how we go. I'll give you a wee look round of where I am actually fishing. Uh, there's a bit of a wind, so it might get in the way of what I'm saying. So just bear with me. Uh, I'm as close to discovery as you could ever want to be. <laughs> and the v &A. Lovely. <laughs> Cafe up there, restaurant. Shut at the moment. So are we, actually. Everything's shut around here. There you go. I show you the road, road bridge. Lovely. Aye, Newport on Tay. Heading into Wormit. We are there. The railway bridge. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually locked in, basically locked in. I can't. One minute, one. Sorry about that. <laughs> if I get up here, you can see where, where I'm actually fishing into. That's the corner of the V&A. Hey, the mud's starting to build up against that wall. So one day, you'll be able to jump into it. Kind of stupid. There you go. Yeah. Lots of weed and rocks and such like. And slipway. That's normally where a fish just beyond that slipway. You can only get halfway down, you cannot climb up that. It's the weed is around us. The, uh, the weed all the way up there, the old trolley. There's a fishing rod up there. Let's see if I can get it get zoomed in there. I don't see it on the camera. It is up there. It's just just thin. I can't see who's actually fishing because there must be sitting must be work, uh, working by the sea, fishing by the sea. There's the Premier Inn. 
one step too far, that one. <laughs> Premier in and a uh, discovery point itself. And as you can see, I'm fencing. Nice big fence. So there we go. I got one good knock. It's a pity it was a seagull fl they flying into the line. With all these seagulls round the back there, eh, that's bound to happen. So we'll get this set back up there. <coughs> back to normal. This could do with being a bit higher actually. I maybe have to turn the camera and lift it. Lift it maybe half an inch or so. So there we are. Maybe if I take the zoom off. Eh? Well, that helps. <laughs> so that's where we are. I, if I'm winding in or doing anything and I suddenly disappear, I, it probably causes an alarm or something going off. So if you if you wouldn't mind, would you come and get the rod for me, catch my fish? I would be so ple pleased if you did that for me. I'd be so happy. I'll even let you catch it, keep the fish. That's how good I am. Well, there's something I haven't had for a while. A wee strap <laughs> strap <laughs> Sorry. Uh, a wee silver eel. Freshwater eel. Just eel, whatever you want to call them. Nice. 